Carols and Seekers and Dreamers. So um, do have a lovely time, I'm sure you are, and it's my pleasure to read this for you. The Shree Wise Men. Heck. The three wise men had no favour nor fear as they searched for a king in lands far and near. And their journey to find him might well have been clear. But for one fatal weakness, their liking for beer. After many a turning to left and to right, and as many swift halves, try as they might, they no longer distinguished their left from their right. So arrived on an easterly seashore one night. At a local pub called the Marquis of Lawn, they inquired as to where the new king might be born. The barmaid replied, we have a hunch. Why not try it up the hill at the new Suffolk punch? Once more, a wrong turn in their search to a door took them down to the broad by the old Commodore. After taking refreshment, which rendered them merry, they set off once more, but were detained at the wherry. They became quite upset and were crying so much, man, that a kindly young landlord took them in at the Dutchman. Then they set off again, warned, don't stumble or trip, or you won't find the king, you'll end up in the ship. So it was as they journeyed and stumbled and stammered, they fell through the door of the old trowel and hammer. Sid said, sorry lads, there's no king here, hard look. But he did hear a commotion in the back of the stable block. And there in the beam of a borrowed torchlight lay a king and a saviour, safe and cosy that night. Humbly, holy and beery, they took in the sight. As they worshipped, the child smiled and said, Are you all right? Whether fable or true, you'll find in this story, the truth that God chooses simple things to show glory, that in Jesus God meets us wherever we are, and at home, at our home, in our house, or propped up by the bar, and in offering his friendship, he takes pure delight. And he means it when he asks of us, you're right. Happy Christmas. <laughs>